Hello. Hi, John. Hi. When's your appointment? One tomorrow. Uh, with Cataldi? Yes. What time? One o'clock. One o'clock? Yeah. Let me know how it goes. Sure. Uh, you going to see Chuck Vincent? Yeah, tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Oh, I didn't find out anything either positive or negative about him. Oh, I see. Yeah. I yeah. asked, uh, is he an older guy? Um, late 40s, I guess. What does he look like? Short. Mm-hmm. Uh, wears glasses. I don't know. Mm. Looks like a guy, a person. <laughs> Is he very just like average looking? Yeah. Conspicuous? Yeah. So what about, did you find out anything about whether or not I should bring my portfolio? Oh, for, uh, for Cataldi? Yeah. It'll drive him nuts, yeah. I should bring it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. They'll, he'll start, uh, you know. Great. You know. He'll start, right. Yeah, yeah from, you know. Well, we'll All right, good luck. Okay. All right, I'll speak to you later, John. All right. Okay, let Bye. me go back and put my head in the oven here. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hi, John. It's Bill. Uh, give me a call later, or I'll call you, or I'll have Joel call you. Bye. Hi. John? Yeah, hi. How did it go? Okay. That's a little discouraging, actually. What? Did he have a part for you? Uh, no. Nothing like that at all. Did he fuck you? Well, no. Not exactly, but sort of, yeah. What, he blew you? Um... He came before he had a chance to fuck me. Really? Yeah, he came pretty quickly. <laughs> what do you mean? He, uh... Well, I'll tell you. I went... It turns out his office is also where he lives. Yeah, I was at Joe Green's house, and his office is also where he lives. Yeah, and uh, we sat by the bar for quite a while, and he... Uh, just talking and uh, uh, drank wine and pot, had pot and stuff like that. And he kind of... Uh, I asked him about his films and when he got into the business and so forth. And he uh, uh, mentioned that his next film, it's not the only project in the works, but the next film that he's going to have complete control over is going to be called uh, Preppies. Yeah. And I remember he himself had once said, or I think it was him, maybe it was some other producer, but I think it was him, said that yeah. I have a prep look. And yeah. so I said, um, oh, there's got to be a part in that film for me then. Mm -hmm. And, and like, uh, that was the only thing that I ever said that really was suggested of, of business, you yeah. know? So what but, did he say? But he never, he didn't uh, react to that. You know, he didn't mention mm -hmm. having any part for me at all. And, uh, at all, yeah. at any time. And That's I really... Weird. Huh? That is weird. Well, you know, it's... Maybe he's just trying to be honest if he doesn't have something for you. Or he wanted to see if you'd come through, you know? What do you mean, come through? You know, he wanted to see if you'd do anything, you know? I mean, I don't blame the guy in a way. The guy's, the guy's a homosexual, and if he's going to have a complete control over a movie, who's he going to pick, the guys who sleep with him or the guys who don't? Okay? You know, I mean, you look at it from his standpoint. Well... You know, you know what I mean? It goes with the territory. Now, now, what girl is going to get in uh, in my movies? One who's the greatest actress in the world doesn't offer to fuck me, or one who fucks me? <laughs> it's very, it's very simple. Yeah, but I think or that, one of my partners, you know. Well, maybe, but I think he's concerned about acting ability too. I mean, you know, I did a real lousy reading for him once, and I think maybe that has something to do with it. Although we didn't talk about okay, that. Okay, so go on. I'm listening. Well, anyway, uh, um, then you know. Uh, he showed me his uh, a whole on a cassette a bunch of trailers, starting with uh, two years ago, like Jack and Jill and Misbehaving, and then backing going backwards to even earlier films than that. And uh, Farewell Scarlet, huh? Farewell Scarlet, yeah, I yeah. Saw that. Right, that was one of them. Mm -hmm. And he uh, he started asking me questions about like what kind of sex do I like and so yeah. forth, and I said. Uh, I'll tell you, I want to watch the end of these trailers first, or I want to watch really? them, because I was really engrossed in them. I really was. Yeah. But, you know, towards the end, he started putting his finger in my ear, swishing it around, so I figured I better do something quickly before he gets too intimate, because I, I absolutely, that makes me vomit. 
And so I said, do you have any disco? Um, and I figured I would use my way out, which I always do, or that I also do with Mark Stevens. In other words, like instead of, instead of just leaving, you know, without doing things that abruptly, but then just kind of uh, saving myself a little bit. As I said, you, uh, I'll do it. I asked him if he wanted to see me do a show, you know? Yeah. So I did a strip for him when he put on the disco. Yeah. And, uh, it wasn't long though, though, before he got closer and like licked my ass and stuff like that. And yeah. he was going to stick it in, but then he, uh, he came real quickly. Really? <laughs> I thought, I thought he'd want to suck you off. Uh, he didn't seem to want to do that. He liked licking my ass more than anything else. I'm that's surprised. What, that's what he did mostly. Uh-huh. I mean, there was a point there where it looked like he was trying to stick it in, and that's when he came too soon. And he said, "Yeah, I did terrible. I came so soon." You know? <laughs> uh-huh. But you know, then afterwards, like, was soon not right afterwards, but soon afterwards, and he he suggested let's go out to eat, and and then after that, you know, he said he was going to uh, go to sleep. So we split. I mean, he said he was going to get some rest because he was really, really beat from shooting the sun. Yeah, uh, well, he's doing a lot of uh, publicity campaigning for, or not, he's doing a lot of public appearances for uh, roommates, and in fact, it's getting lots of recognition, I guess, as you know. I mean, he showed me a book with all I'm the publicity. I'm going to review it for Soho News, probably. That's you know, good. Open, so I'll say something nice about it. In fact, it. he said he's even been talking to 20th Century Fox about them distributing some of his films. Yeah. Now, well, they were scared of roommates. They don't want Never to do that. Happened. One. I mean, you could talk to anybody. That but they might want. He said they might do one of his other ones. What a low. Budget I mean, one that he hasn't made yet. In other one. words, a low budget movie, not a porno. Hello, Bill. Yes, John. Hello, John Moser. How are you? Good. How you going with Mr. Cataldi? Uh, didn't I tell you yet? You didn't tell me yet. No. Did you see? I did you see him today? Today? Yeah. No. Why today? I thought you were going to get together with him this weekend. No. What gave you that idea? No, that was never. Joel the... told me that. Who? Joel. Oh, he's wrong. What? When are you getting together with him? We are not. You're not. Did he get you a job? Not yet. Oh, he said he'd get back to me uh-huh. next week, which was last. Oh. So that must be what Joel thought. Uh, no, it was uneventful. It was just 10 minutes. It what turns happened? out. 